speaking with Dr. Larry Allen of the University of Colorado, uh, the designated discussant for a high-profile clinical trial in heart failure, Pioneer HF. Uh, tell me why you think it's important, and is it going to be practice-changing? I think so. It is an exciting trial. So uh, one of the most common medical problems uh, in the world is heart failure. And uh, fortunately, over the last few decades, we've developed a number of drugs that can help people with heart failure, make their hearts stronger, keep them out of the hospital. Uh, but most of those studies have actually been studied in patients who are doing well, who are at home, and who are being seen in the clinic. Um, unfortunately, many people with heart failure get hospitalized. They fill up with fluid, they get short of breath, they come into the hospital. Uh, and the drugs that I just mentioned that have been shown to be very helpful have really not been studied in that setting in patients who are sick, symptomatic, and in hospital. So what Pioneer does is it takes one of these drugs, Secubitril Valsartan, uh, which is an, a new drug and has been shown to help people um, with chronic heart failure, and it studies starting that in the hospital um, and then following people after they get discharged. And what this study showed in Pioneer is that starting that drug early in, in these patients who are hospitalized, uh, not only is safe, uh, lowered their blood pressure a little bit, but not too often um, to have them need to stop, didn't hurt their kidneys. Um, and then when we followed them for the next eight weeks, um, we saw that compared to older therapies, this new Secubitril Valsartan started in the hospital actually made patients uh, better. They were less likely to get sick again and get re-hospitalized. So I think it's exciting it, for somebody like me who's a heart failure doctor, uh, it simplifies things. So I don't have to start on old therapy in the hospital, get the patients back in clinic, and then try and switch them over to this newer therapy. I can just start from the beginning with the therapy that I think is going to be most effective. So I think it's good for patients, it's good for me. So Secubitril Valsartan has a class one recommendation. It does, and that's based on a large study. So there's a study named Paradigm, which goes along with Pioneer, but Paradigm was published back uh, four years ago in 2014. It looked at over 8,000 patients in that clinic or ambulatory setting, um, and the patients in that study were followed forward for about two years, and their mortality dropped from 20% to 17%. Uh, when they were switched from the older therapy, enalapril, to the newer therapy, Secubitril Valsartan. So because of that fairly impressive study where death was reduced as well as hospitalizations, the American Heart Association gave um, Secubitril Valsartan a class one recommendation, which means if I have a patient who meets the criteria uh, of heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, I should try and get them onto Secubitril Valsartan. But what we were seeing in practice just in the last year is that only 15% of people who would qualify for that drug are getting put on that drug. And I think part of the reason is that starting with one therapy, trying to get people to go home from the hospital and then switching them to a new therapy is actually a, a little bit tricky. There, we, we talk about clinical inertia, that once I've started one thing, it's hard to change course. Um, and so I think Pioneer says, I can just start with what I want get people onto that therapy right away. And I think that that will um, ideally have patients on better therapy long term. So this is going to be a practice changing result. It, it, will, it will for me. It makes me feel more comfortable um, starting the therapy right away. I think it simplifies what I, what I do and my colleagues do. And so um, I think it's, it's a big win. Thanks very much. Thank you.